Hello, Nadim here with PC Solutions Net, and today I'm going to go over a few things uh, that are different in Office 2010. First of all, uh, a little thing that is not very well known in Microsoft Word 2010, uh, there is something called readability statistics. Uh, let's go ahead and launch Word, and I will show you how to enable that. This is just a blank Word document. So the first thing that you want to do is click on File, Options, go to Proofing, and then check Show Readability Statistics. By default, this will be unchecked. Now, once you check this, and you'll have to close out Word and open it up again, and then open up your document or type a new uh, document up, go into Review, and use the spelling and grammar checker. And it will give you readability statistics of the document. Uh, it comes in very handy if you're typing up a um, document for some sort of a study or something and you want to know how many words or characters are in there, how many paragraphs, uh, sentences, uh, sentences per paragraph, uh, words per sentence, uh, gives you a lot of uh, in-depth um, statistics on your current document. So comes in real handy. Another thing that you might want to do is, as you can see in, in my word here, the default toolbar is not open. Like when I'm typing in something, the toolbar is not unnecessarily taking up screen space, which is which is uh, valuable. And uh, you might want to do the same thing where you don't see your toolbar on, on the screen so it doesn't take up real estate on the screen. Uh, the way to enable or disable that is simply double click on any one of these options up here. Uh, I just double clicked and now you will see that the toolbar stays there. If I double click again, the toolbar disappears, but I can always click and have it show the toolbar and then it disappears again. So it comes in very handy if you're working on a large document, you can simply show or hide the toolbar by just double clicking on any one of these options here. Uh, one neat little thing in Outlook, Let's close out of here. And Microsoft Outlook is the ability of Outlook to create quick steps. Uh, kind of like in the old days uh, in Outlook, you would create a macro to do something for you. Well, now we have something called quick steps in this area right here. And we can create custom quick steps by clicking the little icon down over here and as we can see here there are some default quick steps already created for us so you can create a new step or you can modify an existing step for example like this step says to manager basically it simply forwards an email to a manager now you can edit this step and you can have it forwarded to your manager by typing in the managers name here and then clicking save. Or if it's if if the manager's not in your exchange organization, you can actually type in the whole email address and click save. So once you do this and then you highlight an email and click to manager, it will automatically forward the email to that person. And you can create multiple quick steps. Um, you can pretty much do anything via quick steps, and it's just a icon away. So if you are used to filing emails um, to, uh, for example, uh, support related emails, you want to move them to a folder call, called support, you can create a quick step to do that and it will simply move those selected items into that folder. So it comes in real handy, saves a lot of time. Um, one of the benefits of the new interface uh, in Office 2010 compared to Office 2007 or older versions. Um, might be another reason you might want to consider upgrading to Office 2010 um, because of this little time-saving feature here. 